This is Stuart Mills of Mills Fleet Farm. I'm standing in front of Mills Indoor Shooting and Archery, soon to open on the corner of 210 and 371 in Baxter, Minnesota. Behind me is one of our 32 Fleet Farm stores. We're an upper Midwestern retailer, soon to open our 33rd store in Ankeny, Iowa. This is our open letter to our Congressman, Rick Nolan, and our Senators, Amy Klobuchar and Al Franken. The Second Amendment of our Bill of Rights states, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. But yet on Tuesday, the 8th of January, 2013, our Congressman Rick Nolan stated, I'm a hunter. I don't need an assault rifle to shoot a duck or to protect my family. Well, nowhere in our Constitution or our Bill of Rights is duck hunting ever described or mentioned. Furthermore, Rick Nolan's duck gun is much more lethal and impractical than the so-called assault rifles that he would legislate away. We're going to go inside and demonstrate just that. Hopefully, this video letter will educate and inform our uninformed and misguided congressmen and senators about the issues they are about to vote on. We're inside our latest venture that we're just about ready to open, a indoor archery range and an indoor shooting range that will allow us to shoot rifle and pistols indoors. This is our pro shop. We employ Fleet Farm as a whole, over 6,000 employees. Our shooting sports and hunting categories are one of the cornerstones that allows us to pay the wages of the 6,000 people and benefits. Our Huldra Mark IV line of rifles and accessories exclusive to Millsley Farm, has allowed our shooting sports department to be successful, which in turn has allowed us to hire more people and continue to expand. Our rifles may look a little scary to some, but they really do not operate any different than any semi-automatic shotgun or rifle. This is a perfect precision firearm for sport shooting and competition, for hunting, and also for defense. It is your Second Amendment right. So let's head into the range, put Rick Nolan's duck hunting shotgun up against one of our Huldra Mark IVs and really see what is the true destructive device. We're inside our 50 yard range, probably at about the 20 yard mark. We're here to put this innocent looking duck hunting shotgun with a wood stock and a wood grip up against this slightly suspicious, at least to the uninformed, looking modern sporting rifle. Well, we're gonna demonstrate the destructive power of this 12 gauge shotgun versus the precision nature of our Huldra Mark IV modern sporting rifle. Well, to do our demonstration and to prove our point, I'm gonna hand things over to our range safety officer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Today I'm gonna to show you the size difference in comparison of the projectile that exits the modern sporting rifle, the Huldra, and the duck hunting 12 gauge shotgun. And to show that nothing has been changed to the shotgun, I'm going to cut the shotgun open, or the shotgun shell open, so you can see what's all inside. Here we have our packing and our nine pellets right here. Compared that to the one projectile from the modern sporting rifle and the 12 gauge duck hunting shotgun. Today we're going to have Connie shooting the Hoodra Mark IV Modern Precision Sporting Rifle. Okay, Connie, course of fire today. I'm going to have you at the 20 yard line shooting five shots per target downrange. When you're ready, get yourself in a good shooting position. Take the weapon off safe. When you say you're ready, commence firing when you hear the beep from the timer.
Weapon on safe, let it hang. Okay, that took Connie 33.18 seconds to fire five rounds in each target for a total of 25 rounds. Let's go down range and mark the targets. All right, let's have Nicole come in with the 12 gauge duck hunting shotgun. Okay, the course of fire is gonna be one round per target for a total of five rounds with nine pellets in each shot. That's 45 pellets downrange. Okay, that time it took Nicole 3.59 seconds to put five shots downrange for a total of 45 projectiles. Here's our shot pattern here. And in this target here, we can see the difference between the Huldra Mark IV modern precision sporting rifle with its shots here, about the size of the pen. And here we can see the 12 gauge double op buck from the duck hunting 12 gauge where the pen will go almost all the way through. So what did we learn today? Hopefully we came to the conclusion that gun control isn't about controlling guns, it's about controlling people and limiting your freedom. The reality is a duck hunting shotgun loaded with double lot buck is a heck of a lot more destructive and lethal than a precision modern sporting rifle. The reality is if you live in a rural environment where the response times for law enforcement could be as high as 20 or 25 minutes, you're going to want to make sure that you have a modern sporting rifle there to defend you and your family against multiple attackers until law enforcement arrives. Let's take a look at this target. This target really brings the story home. The Huldra Mark IV is a precision modern sporting rifle. The shotgun, the duck hunting shotgun, that looked innocent with wood on it, turned out to miss the mark, injure the assailant, and kill or wound whoever was behind it. When I'm defending my family, the last thing I'm going to want to do is jeopardize the safety of my wife or my children. We as a free people must stand together and reject any erosion of our Second Amendment rights. We need to stand up for liberty and freedom and the ability to defend ourselves in the way that we see fit. So what's the solution? Well, I can tell you what the problem is. Gun-free zones are killing our kids. The proposal on the table right now is we're going to double down and make our schools, which are already gun-free zones, which are magnets for every psychopath to spread murder and mayhem within these gun-free zones. We're going to double down on that and make them super gun-free zones. So what's the solutions? We need to put armed security in every school and fund that price tag. We have to stop putting things on the credit card and mortgaging our children's future to China. The ATF collects approximately $24 billion a year in excise fees. If we need to increase the 11% ATF excise fee on firearms to 15% or whatever to pay for it, we need to do that. We need to stop guarding our banks and our sports stadiums better than we guard our children. There's only so much money out there. We need to reform certain institutions and the way that we collect taxes. We need to balance our priorities to get them straight. The priority should be the security of our children. Locally here in the Brainerd Lakes area, we have an excellent law enforcement program. However, we graduate more candidates than there are law enforcement positions for. I believe we should take the reallocated funds and distribute it to local law enforcement to hire security police to guard the doorways and hallways of our local schools. We have wonderful school resource officers, but their primary responsibility is not to provide security for our children. Their job is to work with teachers, with administrators, with students, and with parents. They cannot be there to guard the safety of our children the way we need them to. The problem with this most recent round of gun control is it grandfathers in the over 270 million guns that are already on the street, leaving our children that much more vulnerable unless we protect them. That tells me two things. First of all, 
this is about politics. This is about gun control measures, little by little, so they can go back later on and get the 270 million guns that we as responsible citizens own and cherish. The second thing that that tells me is they really don't care about solving the problem. They just are not going to let a good crisis go to waste and they're going to push their political agenda. Around the same time of the Sandy Hook disaster, there was a stabbing of 22 children in China. Most of them survived. Recently, while watching CNN, I listened to Piers Morgan and Fried Zakaria. They both articulated that had we had Chinese communist style gun control in the United States, the children in Sandy Hook would have been stabbed as opposed to being shot. Well, they're giving me two choices. One between having my children shot and the other between having my children stabbed. Well, I'm gonna take the third option because I'm gonna reject the first two. I want our children protected from knives, from guns, and from bombs. The only way we can do that is put armed security in our schools now. We also need to look at the effects of violent video games and imagery on vulnerable and impressionable at-risk children. And we need to look at the mental health issues facing this country. So that is my open video letter to our congressmen and senators. Gun control will not work. It will only endanger us. Do not strip away our freedoms due to ignorance or politics. Put politics to the side and put the safety of our children front and center. Do the math. You have 270 million guns on the street. The legislation that you are pushing currently does nothing to address that. It only limits our freedoms in the future. Do not play politics. Make our children safe. Do the right thing. Know the facts. Know the issues before you vote or before you speak. Thank you.